Hi everybody, this is not going to be one of our very professional videos. As you know, I'm pretty often testing the C2 to see where we are, what do we need to improve. And we are really, really close to start the production of the car and start letting journalists to test the car very soon in the next few weeks. And uh, I wanted to share a little bit how that looks like quite spontaneous today because I think it's pretty interesting, an interesting day. The location is also interesting. This is um, an airfield, an unused airfield in Velika Gorica in Croatia, which is like half an hour from our factory. And this is where I pretty much exactly 10 years ago from this spot broke five FIA and Guinness World Records with my green BMW E30. So it's quite a historic location for us. And today uh, I'm testing where we are in terms of acceleration with the C2. So here is a pre-production car. So this is one of five pre-production cars that are being built before we start the customer test drives. Actually, uh, the first two pre-production cars are finished. One more is being finished next week, then two more cars before the first customer car start in the next couple of months. So we are really getting close. And as you know, the car is not going to be called C2. It's going to have another final name, which we'll also reveal soon. But I thought it's cool to show you a little bit of progress and what we are doing. So that's quite exciting here on the track to see where we are with the performance. We are currently at about 85 to 90% of performance uh, because of torque limitations. So we are ramping up the torque in the inverters and the motor slowly. And we should actually unlock um, 98 to 100% next week. Um, but yeah, let's see, let's see what it can do today. To have some kind of reference point, we have a Porsche Taycan Turbo S to see how the C2 compares with the Porsche Taycan Turbo S. So the state of the car, I mean, the C2 is a road going, uh, fully homologated uh, production car. So it's not a race car type of thing. Uh, four airbags, smart airbags, US and EU homologation, all of that stuff. We have road tires on. Actually, we are testing at the moment uh, Michelin uh, Pilot Sport tires. So these are normal road tires. It's not like uh, Coupe two, Cup 2 or something like that. It's road tires. We came with both cars from the factory um, driving them here. So both cars are at around 85% uh, state of charge. They are not completely fully charged. So let's see how it goes. Uh, I, I hope we'll have some good time here today. We are the car's manufacturer and of course you shouldn't trust the manufacturer, never. So that's why we have measuring equipment here. So a race box and the draggy. Uh, they will both measure at the same time. So let's see the results. Uh, currently the Bugatti Chiron is the fastest accelerating production car in a quarter mile. It's 9.4 seconds. So let's see if we are faster. We are now at 82% state of charge of the battery pack. So it's not fully charged, but um, let's see. We are now in range mode. So here we are changing the modes of the car. So this is actually for changing the mode. The second ring is for charge, changing the torque vectoring setting. So now in range mode, we have 50% power in the front, 50% in the rear, or actually this is what it means actually is 50% of the full front axle torque is available and 50% of the rear. So now when we change to another mode, for example, uh, sport mode, everything changes, the active aerodynamics, the wing, uh, the suspension, the steering, everything changes. And we have here more torque. Drift mode, my favorite mode, of course, 0% uh, in the front, 100% in the rear. And you can adjust this as per your wishing. So you can, for example, increase the front uh, torque, decrease rear. You can have front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, whatever you want with these two rings. But we will go now into track mode. So we have 100% torque in the front, 100% in the rear, but actually it's um, 85 to 90% of the fully, let's say, final car torque, which we should unlock in the next few weeks, this remaining few percent, uh, because we are still increasing the, the level. So the 100% torque is not actually 100% torque, and we don't have um, launch control yet implemented in this car. So we are working on launch control. This will be just a normal launch um, with the car in track mode. So there's still a lot of room for improvement, and also, this is not a drag uh, track, it's not drag tires, it's an uh, unused road, which is very dirty and uh, quite a bad asphalt. But let's see, uh, the Bugatti Chiron uh, has 9.4 seconds uh, on the quarter mile, making it the fastest production car you can buy on the quarter mile. Um, let's see if this is faster. 
after the first couple of trial runs, we now had the real uh, first run and we achieved the 8.94 second quarter mile time. The zero to 60 time is quite bad still. I guess that's because of the surface, 2.3 seconds. But this is the fastest acceleration for a road car um, ever. So faster than the Bugatti Chiron. Uh, and this is the first run. So uh, let's see now when we warm up the tires a little bit more and the batteries warm up a little bit, uh, how the times will improve. Now we are going to try it against the Taycan Turbo S. Of course, it's not a hypercar like the C2, but uh, comes pretty damn close. It's uh, one of the fastest cars that you can buy. So just to see a difference, because numbers are one thing, but when you see it against something else, you get a better reference point. So let's see how it looks like. Mm -hmm. Oops, late start. 30, 60. Glad we got it. One really cool thing is that the car is always connected to the internet, so we have all the data in real time. So now in the phone, you actually have all of the telemetry data and you can analyze that also inside of the car. But to have it a little bit more visual, we can have it here on the screen. So we can see all of our launches here. So we can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 launches with it. We started with about 82% state of charge. We ended up with 60% state of charge. So this is, by the way, our own tool that we are developing to see all the data and to update the cars over the air, which is really cool for me because I can see immediately what is going on with all the cars. I don't have to call the engineers. Uh, so I'm watching them all the time very closely. Um, so let's see one of the runs. So we zoom in now in one of the runs to see how much power we have pulled. So here we can see um, this was one of the first ones. So here we pulled 1269 kilowatts. Okay, let's see the next run. 1300 kilowatts. So that's already what, 1700 horsepower, something like that. Here, let's see the next one. 1277 kilowatts. So we still need to improve um, to get more power from the car, but we are quite close, almost 1.4 megawatts or the 1,900 horsepower. Then here we can analyze actually how that looked like on the track um, where we draw the power and how much power, for example, or let's choose another one. Sorry for geeking out uh, on this, but <laughs> this is the kind of stuff I love. Yeah, here we can see how quickly we are reaching actually 250. So this is the exit speed of 250, uh, which should be a lot faster. We have some high speed issues at the moment, which we are solving with software. So from here to here, the 400 meters, we are reaching the speed so fast. Let, let's take a little bit better uh, resolution. So just this part of the acceleration. Yeah, pretty nice, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Hope you liked it. Uh, so I think we can say that the C2 uh, is going to be now that it ends, enters production in a few months, the fastest accelerating production car, uh, faster than a Bugatti Chiron. Of course, it's not all about acceleration. Acceleration is just one of the things. Um, what we are doing with torque vectoring and drift mode and all of that stuff, it's really cool. It has so much opportunity, so much potential. Today we focused on the straight line acceleration, which will further improve and we will give you an update on that soon. As I said, the journalists will have an opportunity to drive the car, to, to drive the car and try it themselves very soon and give their opinion. Uh, but I think we are coming really close and now improving and the last few percent are the hardest ones to get right. Uh, but I think in the next few weeks we'll really make a big jump and I can't wait to show you all of it. Thank you for watching.